First tonight, though, a stunning development after this brawl at the Big House. Seven Michigan State players charged. Welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. This all dates back, of course, to the big Michigan-Michigan State rivalry game last month in Ann Arbor. Michigan State players seen on camera assaulting U of M players in the tunnel after leaving the field. The seven Spartans are now officially charged. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is in Ann Arbor to break down the charges and what they mean. A legal expert says when things got out of hand here at the big house, it was nothing short of criminal. And now we're learning much more about the charges. An ugly scene in the players tunnel on October 29th, following Michigan State losing to rival U of M in football has now taken another turn. A thorough police investigation and calls for accountability have now resulted in criminal charges filed. Students like Emma Creel sharing this as they process the information we shared with them today. You know, big universities like, you know, Michigan, Michigan State, you know, big, uh, big 10 universities, you know, the football players really represent the school in a way. I don't think nobody really got hurt enough for anybody to have any, like, crim anything criminal happen to them. I think it was very malicious. I feel like it was not necessary to happen. The Washtenaw County prosecutor indicating charges filed against seven MSU players include a felony assault charge against Kari Crump with a maximum penalty of four years in prison. Within these charges, what stands out to you? Those are all very serious uh, and to the extent that you're changing the trajectory of each one of these kids' lives. Former prosecutor Todd Flood points to video that showed a Spartan player striking a Wolverine with a helmet, playing a major role in this decision. A felonious assault is using a weapon or an instrument as a weapon in assaulting another. That's a four year felony. Five other players face as much as a year in prison for aggravated assault, and one player faces 90 days for assault and battery. Flood says the awful display will sadly have a profound impact on the players' lives and serve as a painful lesson. If it were you or it was me, we would both be charged. It's a life lesson, it's, it's something that every coach and every player around the country needs around the world that gets into sports needs to watch. We've learned arraignments are expected to take place next week. So far, no additional information being provided. From Ann Arbor, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you. There have been several incidents in the tunnel at the big house this year. MSU's interim president just released a statement in response to these new charges. She says in part, I do not condone inappropriate behavior by anyone on our campus or when representing MSU and consequences which were announced today are part of a learning environment. But I also believe that as universities, we must make our respective environments safe places for competition.